morning, friends! Welcome back to another episode of Tic Tac Tot Story Time. My name is Steffi. Thank you for joining with me today, and I'm so excited to have you here in this story. Are you ready for a creepy story? Today, I'm going to read a book about a rabbit named Jasper who loves to eat carrots. But one day, the carrots start to following him. <gasps> or are they? Are you curious what's going to happen to him? Then let's read Creepy Carrots. Please enjoy the story. Creepy Carrots Written by Aaron Reynolds and illustrated by Peter Brown Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in Krakenhopper Field were the best, fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots until they started following him. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack. When he heard it, the soft, sinister tung 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 of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked his toothbrush off the floor, and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Whew! Creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom! Mom! Jasper screamed. Creepy carrots in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such things as creepy carrots, mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it, breathing. Terrible carroty breeding, and there on his wall, <coughs> creepy carrots! He shouted, Dad! Dad! His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. They searched under the bed, no creepy carrots. They look through the closet, no creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son. His dad said, shaking his head. Now, go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping 
everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real, and they were coming for him. Aha! But they couldn't get him. If they couldn't get out, Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Kraken Hopper Field. As the sun finally set across Kraken Hopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no tung tung tung. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. And as the sun finally set. The carrots of Kraken Hopper Field. Cheered! Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. And that is the end of the story. Jasper was really scared of the carrots, wasn't he? My reading friends, have you ever scared of something? And what are you scared of? You can send your answer to our email on the description box below. And if you like this kind of story, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for other special stories from me. See you in the other story.